today is currently Saturday, January 14th, and we're getting ready for brunch to celebrate Ashley's birthday. Period. Right now, I'm just got on this jacket and um, this like little crop top shirt, these jeans from Fashion Nova, and I. Yeah, and I'm just vlogging. Actually, I'm gonna be here for two hours. She actually, be talking. I mean, by the time we wait in line, huh? Eat. I said, y'all about to sit there for two hours. I mean, just a normal lunch. Oh, if you were to go to. Me and Adam, we go two hours. We go, we eat, we, we roll. We ain't talking, we ain't trying to. Mother, okay. Y'all go ahead and go, seriously. I promise you, I want y'all to go and relax. I want y'all to be sitting there thinking, I'm ready to go. Because I will be. <laughs> I promise. I know if it was just me and y'all, I can say, well, maybe we can go to brunch for your birthday yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Okay, so think of the place you want to go tomorrow for your birthday. But we're getting ready to head out, and I'll see you guys at the restaurant. Around, around here? Cheers, Ash. Cheers to Ash. Happy birthday. It's a beat? Yeah. Mm. They bring bad news, I'm like, get over. <laughs> they bring bad news. They do. Okay, what do you rate your food? The omelet's like a seven. That six and a half. Okay, okay. Dang, six and a half. <laughs> I'd give, give the omelet seven and a half. Seven and a half, okay. The burger I haven't tried yet. Okay. <laughs> and you said eight, okay. I'm gonna say, I can't even see myself, okay. <laughs> I give it, it was better the first time I think, but it's still good. I give it a eight, I give it an eight. That's still pretty hot. Huh? Yeah, still good, uh -huh. I got mine fully loaded, crawfish, shrimp, chicken, sausage, everything. Chicken and sausage? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then your burger, is it burger burger or is it sausage burger? It's a fried egg burger. Fried egg burger, okay. And then the omelet was just seafood, seafood, seafood omelet. omelet. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Alright, you ready? Mm -hmm. Where's your lights off for? Just wanted to light it better. Oh, like, Ashley, happy, happy birthday, birthday, birthday to you. you. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. We're gonna party like it's your birthday. Don't sit Bacardi oh, like it's your birthday. birthday. And we don't give up for your birthday. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she <laughs> Tequila. Tequila. <laughs> All right. Hey, love. Hey. So, long time no speak. Came home from brunch. Now we changed outfits. We we're gonna go go karting, but now we're just going to. David Busters, a little drinky drink, a little play play. Mm -hmm. Drink, play, eat. Drink, play, eat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You've never been. Mm -hmm. I've never been. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, we're going to do that and see where the night takes us. So. Hey, right, Justin, tie me up a little bit. room my room is a hot mess i'm gonna show y'all hold on this is actually embarrassing but <laughs> i'm gonna show y'all anyways because whatever it's life like at least half my bed made up but like 
I just got stuff everywhere. This is the process of getting dressed. Christmas tree still up. Like, <laughs> now that I got a wine glass, coffee mug, iPad on the floor. Like, y'all. Be so, be FFR. Be FFR, okay? <laughs> um. But it is Sunday, January 15th. So happy Founders Day to my oh so pretty sores of Alpha, Kappa Alpha, Sorority Incorporated, period poo. Even though I'm not with my little sisters today, I'm going to brunch with my family. Um, because my mom's birthday actually was yesterday. My mom's birthday is in two days. So we're going to brunch again today. We don't even know where we're going yet, but we just finna get dressed, figure out where we're gonna eat at. And, e. and it's gonna be crazy busy because it is Founders Day weekend for the AKAs and the Deltas, and it's MLK weekend. And we was at brunch yesterday. We met some girls from DC, so people just out here in Houston just to be out here in Houston. So it's gonna be crazy wherever we go. But I'm gonna get dressed, y'all. My hand be hurting because I cannot find my stick, so I'll be having to like hold the camera. Watch y'all see that? I'll be having to hold the camera. My arm be tired. <laughs> My arm be so tired. I'm gonna find my sticks. I can stop doing this. But um, let me get dressed. Um, figure out what I'm gonna wear. And then if I have time after I get dressed, I'll clean my room a little bit. If not, it's gonna be cleaned eventually today. Where whenever that time is, okay? But well, your arm hurts, so I'll see you guys once I'm dressed and ready for brunch. Period. Dang. I fit the other day. Mm -hmm. So we're heading to brunch. So top is from Ross. Skirt is from Fair 21. Jewelry is Pandora, Tory Burch. And yeah. And show them your outfit. Okay, okay, okay. Check out my outfit. I don't think you know where it's from. No, I don't know where it's from. <laughs> we bought it what, two they years ago. I forgot, they where, it I forgot where it's from myself. <laughs> I don't uh, know, but. You see it. <laughs> <laughs> Just left Lucille's per, what do you rate it? One out of ten. I got you. It's about eight, nine. Eight or nine. Okay, okay. <laughs> what do you give it, mother? I think it was about an eight. But I, I did enjoy my wings, so yeah. it was it was okay. It was an eight. What's up? Um, like a seven and a half. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Little Ashley. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I really like my wings. I'm gonna give it like a nine. Nine, okay. I gave about an eight, eight and a half. The, the mac and cheese was overhyped. Uh, mac and cheese was overhyped, but the wings were good. The wings was, the wings was hitting where it was supposed to hit. You said the what was? Waffle, waffle. Waffle was good. I gave about an eight. Yeah, hey, y'all. I'm back home. I am tired. I've been, I think I've been home now for about mm, an hour in this bed mm -hmm. just laying on my sheets don't care mm -mm. don't care it's gonna get washed anyways so i'm tired but i'm waiting on my phone to charge because i got something in the mail from amazon and i want to film a tiktok period because now that i learned how to monetize my content uh oh baby <laughs> y'all gonna get tired of me mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. y'all gonna get tired of me i'm gonna be recording anything and everything that i can record because who gonna pop me who gonna pop me okay because i'm gonna record anything that i want because baby we're gonna get to this bag in 2023 there is money to be made and we gonna make it okay so i need to film that tiktok and then once i film that tiktok i'll show you guys Oh, my bestie came to visit me. Come here, Siki. Oh my God, hey. I heard her little tail wagging. Okay, girl. I love you. Mm. So yeah, so I forgot what I was even talking about y'all. I got distracted that quick. But 
I need to film that TikTok and then I'll show you guys what I bought. Um, because it'll definitely help my YouTube girlies. They're really just my content girlies who edit or do anything on their iPad. This would be great for you guys. Yeah, it's always that one person who did love to watch. Oh, she just farted on me. <laughs> she just farted. Okay, you gotta get down, Suki. Hold on. Yeah, so I need to edit that or record the TikTok, show you guys it, and then I need to clean this room because it's a mess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a mess. I say that, but honestly, I need to edit a vlog from New Year's as well. So to be honest, the New Year vlog editing comes first because this room can get clean tomorrow. But this vlog needs to be done today. So I'm gonna edit one of my New Year's vlog and then hopefully put that out tomorrow. And yeah, so I may just call it quits for the night because that is it's a lot of just content stuff I need to do. I may show you guys my editing, probably not. Mm, we'll see. But yeah, so that was today. Pretty chill. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I had too much alcohol this week. I need to go on a detox. I was going to go to the gym, but the gym closed in 30 minutes. So that means no. Not happening tonight. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow because I think I'm going to quit my job tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to do it Friday, but I already have a meeting with my boss tomorrow. So I might as well just drop the bomb tomorrow. So I think I'll see you guys then. Hey guys, today is Monday, January 16th. Um, I just finished getting ready for work because we don't get MLK Day off. I know. Ooh. MLK said not today, y'all. With some respect, I need some MLK. Okay. But yeah, I don't get today off, so I have to go into work. Um, and today's the day that I tell my boss I'm done. <laughs> but um, originally, I was supposed to tell them on. I tell him on Friday. I was gonna do it Friday. Um, send in my two weeks and I guess schedule a call then but my parents are like if you already have a call for today's schedule you might as well just tell him like hey heads up Friday you'll be receiving my resignation letter so that is what I'm gonna do today um, and I'm gonna record it of course and I'm like yeah today's the best day to do it because I need to just go ahead and get it done with because I woke up this morning to three messages from him bright and early talking about do this this and this because going forward you're going to oversee this process and this process baby there is no going forward <laughs> there is no going forward like let me just go ahead and nip it in the bud today that like heads up Ugh. about three weeks from now i will not be here so let's figure this out so i'm gonna do that um i did very minimal makeup today i just really did some brows um a little bit of under eye concealer and some mascara Usually I never wear makeup to work, y'all do not care. But I'm like, okay, since I'm gonna film for YouTube and probably TikTok too, let me look somewhat decent. But I have my meeting at nine o'clock. It's eight thirty-eight. Um, so I'm gonna go set up that and yeah, get ready for that. It happened. <laughs> so T minus fifteen minutes until the meeting. Um, usually things like this have me like nervous. But I'm a little nervous, but I'm not that nervous. Um, maybe because it's just like, it's happening. Like, I've been putting this off for so long that it's just like, I need to rip it off. Just rip the bandaid off and just say it. Um, I'm sure whenever I come on camera, I'll be a little like, ooh. But I told myself to just tell them up front because this whole point of this meeting is we discuss weekly, like, what our plans are for the week what are we doing whatever whatever and I just want to nip in the butt like hey before we get started like I want to tell you this as it could affect you know how we what we discuss in this meeting so yeah T minus 15 minutes Hello, Alexis. Hi, Tom. How are you? I am good. So sorry for being a little late. I was just finishing a brief call with on our procurement team. Oh, no, it's okay. I actually have a topic I want to talk about. Okay, cool. So I want to give you a heads up that this Friday I will be turning in my letter of resignation. Oh, 
Oh, well, that's too bad. I know, I know it's unfortunate, uh, but things came up and I have to pursue it. And I've enjoyed my time here. It's hard for me to do this, but. I, I understand. I'm, I'm not excited about that, but I understand. Yes. Please um, keep in mind an open door opportunity for you should things not work out the way you hope and want in the other area. Don't walk away thinking there might not be opportunity to rejoin. And remember, we are a um, big global company, yes. so there could be opportunity in different areas or types of roles if there's something more, um, that something different that you're interested in in marketing. Yes in some other area um, I will dig into from a people solutions perspective what we need to do to be prepared for this okay sounds good yeah thank you for being understanding about this all right just just wondering are you are you going to focus more on the real estate business or well yes and no I've gotten some offers from I want to pursue that on top of real estate ah, okay so you can do a little bit of two things at once yeah exactly you're going to have to do some work this week, and we're going to have yeah. to do some this week to make sure we've got everything appropriately in place. You're, when when you leave, assuming yes. you do, yes. removed from all of our um, um, connections and handles and all of mm -hmm. that kind of, and that we've got that. Let's then zero in with maybe a little different perspective on what our priorities are that we have to okay. make sure we take care of this week. So. So first, let me apologize for the background, y'all. My sisters think that my off the office space is their storage space. But um, y'all, I can't believe I did it. I did it, y'all. That's crazy. I've been putting this off for months. I think the moment that they told me Okay, so I started off as an intern. The moment that they told me my salary, and I was not expecting it, I said, mm, it definitely could be more because I know my worth. So I negotiated my salary. And I explained why. It's because I'm doing way more work than I think I'm being compensated for. And then they literally said, well, since you're asking for more, we're going to have to give you more. And I knew from that moment, I was like, I have to go. <laughs> like, I have to go. And it just never felt like the right time. But I got placed it on my heart. Like, I had to go. And so towards the end of 2022, it's like things just kind of kept showing up. And sorry if y'all hear noise in the background. They are knocking on the roof of my neighbor's house. And it need to stop. But, um, just things been put in place. And I know for a fact that. God placed it on my heart that it was time to move on um, and yeah it was time to move on and, and I just want to make sure that with me moving on from a consistent paycheck to now I'm really being in a hustle era okay I'm in my hustle era now okay like I gotta hustle and so I just want to make sure that I rebuke any energy of procrastination any energy of laziness like I don't mm -mm. like this cannot come with me in this new era that I'm going into but it's just the signs have been evident that it was time for me to leave and I did it y'all I'm so proud of myself for doing it I've been talking about it and talking about it and talking about it but it just never felt like the right time but God said let's get to this money for real for real <laughs> and so it's more than just real estate like it's just I know what I can bring to the table and I feel like at this job I would always be looked at as an intern versus a working employee like everybody else um you know they would try to treat me like it they would always tell me good things like good job but I think it was a little too late it was definitely a little too late um I had to tell them like I want to be recognized for my work better because I would do things and other people would get the credit for it and I said, no, like, I'm doing it. I want my name to be on it. Like, I want people to know I'm, the, I'm doing the work. And it took literally over a year of being here for my vice president to finally reach out to me and say, good job. But it's because if I would have never told my boss and the people I work with that I want my recognition to be known and to stop taking my credit, I would have never got that thank you. And I don't even care about thank yous, but when money on the line for it and I know I'm being compensated for my work, I want to hear thank you. I want you to know exactly what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I want you to know everything I'm doing. 
So, I did it. <laughs> Y'all, they love hanging out with me when I'm at work. Anyway, even though they don't want to admit it, they love hanging out with me. And I said, I said, y'all are responsible for this mess in here. No. no. Yes. That's just my blanket. Yeah, listen to those. <laughs> they are responsible for this junky no. room. I will admit it. So now in my calls, like, I have the blurry background, but you'll see lumps of purple and orange. I'm just like, this is so freaking yeah. embarrassing. Like, like, I live in I a mean, pigsty. Take this away. Yeah. You don't even live here. Well, you know what I mean. I work in a pigsty. <laughs> I'm like, get y'all stuff. This is not your junk room. This is my office space. This is my office. You need to be taken with delicateness and care. Oh Thanks. Uh, I'm finally off work, thank God. I worked a little bit later today. It's like I worked till like 5.30. And it's currently 5.47 because I lay down for like 15 minutes. And I was going to get up and go to the gym, right? Going to be on my hustle game. Going to be getting my body right. And why I get... An email from my coach, my real estate coach, that we meet tonight. I'm gonna ask me. Hello. Yeah, I know. I just remembered to. Also, I saw the email actually, and I was like, I forgot it got moved to Mondays. I don't have to freshen up too much because, like, it really be chill. Like, it's just my real estate coach and like her. Mint mentees, whatever you want to call us, like we just be chatting up with what do we accomplish this day this week in real estate, what are our challenges, what do we need help with or assistance with. So that's my call in 10 minutes. So I'm freshen up, really just take off this band, put a sports bra on, or actually, no, I'm gonna put on my gym clothes so that way, whenever meeting's done, I can just go straight to the gym because I'll be dressed and I have no excuse. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I need more gym clothes, y'all. Can y'all relate to that? Like, I just need more gym clothes. I feel like I buy gym clothes all the time. And now I'm like, where they at, though? <laughs> like, where are my clothes? So it's funny to figure out. This sports bra. These biker shorts. I'm gonna do this top. This green crop top. I think my meeting starts in... Oh my god, one minute. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Lex. Hey. We just talking about these birthday plans. Uh. <laughs> Mama over there driving, and y'all not taking. Um, how are you, Lex? How's it going? It's doing good. Uh, you know that lease thing that was going on the other day? I sent her the leases, but she didn't like any of them. I guess the idea that she had in her head of what fourteen hundred can buy. Better than ever could be. I am the substance of everything hopeful. I am the proof of what's never been seen. I am so beautiful. I am responsible. I am enough, and my soul is complete. More than just suitable. I am a conqueror, worthy of love. That All right, so my meeting is done. It's like 7:03 or something like that. <sighs> now I'm gonna get dressed. Or I guess I'm already dressed, but I'm gonna grab my stuff, head to the gym, so that I can go ahead and get this workout over with before I come up with any excuses of why I cannot go. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna record at the gym because I'm not like that. I haven't worked up the confidence to just whoop, put my tripod up <laughs> and start working out. That's not me. But we'll see what I get, okay? Hey guys. So I'm on my way to my doctor's appointment. Um, hat is from a boutique I found on TikTok, crazy. It was like a real small boutique. Like I was low-key scared. But I was like, from a small boutique to a small boutique, I'ma order from you, girl. Cause like it wasn't like she came by for you page. Like I went searching for this product and found her. And I bought two and I love it. So I'll link it down below if you guys want it. So comment if you guys want to know where I got this hat from. Otherwise, I'm not gonna sort through a year's worth of emails to find this hat. But hat from a small boutique, shirt is from my cousin's shop. Um, I don't think he sells it anymore, but that's from his shop. Purse is Steve Madden. Jewelry is Tory Burch, Fossil Watch. Kendra Scott, Tory Burch. Um, shoes, my dad's one of myself. Some are missing, it's been like three years since I did it. Um, and yeah, so it's currently, y'all, uh, this. I need to get my booty bigger. <laughs> it's 
so it's 3 44 my appointment's at four o'clock i'm running late per freaking usual i used to be always on time y'all but now i've just been such a late person and i hate that for myself so i'm trying to get back on time to things but um let me head to that appointment and i'll talk to you guys in the car i'm not i convinced myself <laughs> that my neighbors i don't know if it's his brother i don't know what it is but i convinced myself that he's crazy <laughs> and let me tell you why um Okay, one question. How do y'all record and drive? Like, real talk. How do y'all do that? Because I feel like maybe I need to get my windows tinted because I do not have no tint on my windows. I'm literally driving a fishbowl. So maybe that's why y'all don't be caring because y'all just be big posted up in y'all's car vlogging like, what's up, what's up? And I'm like, how do y'all do that? Because I feel like if I do that, I will get, you know, I don't want to say the words and speak it, but I'm going to get, you know, seen and i don't want that <laughs> so i don't know how y'all be doing it but um aside from that i convinced myself that he's crazy and let me tell you why i don't know just the vibe i get like i put up last night and he pulled up kind of the same time as us and he i don't know just you know how you can look at somebody and be like i wonder do you hide bodies in your house that's what i was giving that's what i was getting from him and then today i get in the car and he just walks out the door and just looks. And I'm like, are you waiting for somebody to pull up? Like, why would you walk outside, look, and then turn back around? Didn't grab a package, just walked outside, looked, and turned back around. That gives crazy to me. I'm, I mean, I don't know about y'all, but that gives crazy to me. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely watching him. I think that's his brother. I ain't never seen him before. Maybe I just don't know how my neighbor looks like. Maybe that's my whole neighbor, y'all. I don't know. I never just looked at his face, but I don't think it's him. I think it's a brother or a friend or something. So definitely keeping my eye out for him because that was real life creepy. So anyways, so I'm heading to the doctors. Um, I usually go to the doctors once a month to get a shot because um i don't even know how to describe this y'all but basically about two years ago now oh my god almost three hold on almost three years ago now um i just started to feel very like unwell just unwell um and so kind of around the time covid hit went to the doctors um they kept saying asthma 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 i'm like no y'all like i I've had asthma all my life. This is not asthma. Don't tell me there's freaking traffic and I'm already late to my freaking doctor's appointment. Turn around, y'all. Hold on. I have to turn around. This is actual craziness. Okay. One second, y'all. Getting out my neighborhood is so freaking troubling. Something that's to take you literally eight minutes to get to will take you 20 minutes now because of traffic. So now I gotta call my doctors, tell them, like, hey, it's freaking bad traffic. I'm gonna be about 10 minutes late because this is pretty freaking ridiculous um but anyways i think i get shots because i started feeling unwell. well so then when my, i just really got like bad i don't know just congestion i was coughing every single day like bad coughing out of breath like i couldn't even go a mile really i couldn't even go like two streets down without literally having to stop running like it was horrible ran and ran some tests and basically they said that i have like mold that spread throughout my body like my lungs and my nasal cavities had surgery December 2020 to get it removed from my nasal cavities um, but I still to this day when I blow out like or sneeze or like blow out you know it's not the mold will be in there so I think I still have some of my nasal cavities but the shot that I'm supposed to do is supposed to help with my allergic reaction to whatever the mold is so that I don't cough as much or sneeze as much but like clearly I don't think it's working told my doctor that but he just want to put me on steroids because steroids have long-term effects and I've already been on steroids like five times so it's just like a toss up like what do you do like what do you freaking do and i haven't been able, i haven't been able to smell in so long y'all like i literally lost my smell um a while like just for so long and not even on a covid level because i would go get covid tests and i never had a positive covid test but um yeah it was just like i still can't smell now when i'm on steroids i can smell perfectly fine but like i said they don't want me on steroids because the fact that it has long-term side of or long-term effects to it so yeah it's just like what do you do all right so just left my appointment 
Um, I talked to her about what I was feeling and she even agreed that I shouldn't really be feeling this way considering that I've been on this shot for a year now. Um, and that to talk to my pulmonologist, but I told the man already that I don't see any difference in my shot. He keeps saying, but your breathing is better. Have you um, had an asthma attack yet? No, no sir, I haven't, but I can't smell. I still be wheezing, but he says that my breathing tests show that my breathing's better, but whatever, I digress. But now I'm finna head to the store. It's my mom's birthday today, so tell her happy birthday, y'all, uh, please. <laughs> uh, or else. Um, so we already got her a gift, but I may go get her like some flowers or something, because I know she likes flowers. I'm sure my dad already probably got her some. I don't know. But even if he did, I'm still going to get some because she likes flowers. So I'm going to get her some flowers. And then I'll head home and finish up more work even though it's currently 4.30. And the work day is ending. I have stuff I need to knock out that's due tomorrow for work. And when you got to do what you got to do, it right? So, um, yeah. Let's go. The bag is secure. Look how cute these are. I forgot what kind of flowers they said they are. They are... Yeah, I don't even know what kind of flowers they are, but... Anyway, they're cute. They're cute, so... Hey, y'all. So now we're going out to eat for my mother's birthday. Say, so, hey, mother. And y'all, the fire trucks done pulled up because they heard I was coming. Okay. <laughs> the fire trucks have pulled up because they heard I was hot. I was so, coming. You better keep my part in there. <laughs> <laughs> but right now we're in Hughes Landing. Gonna eat. We don't even know where we're gonna eat at, y'all. We just out here eating somewhere. Mm -hmm. Out here eating. Like Listen, your, your daughter fast. <laughs> <laughs> y'all hear y'all's daughter? She fast. She said. She said, "I love a good firefighter. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love a good man in a suit <laughs> in a uniform." Wow. <laughs> Y'all, youngest, the fast one. When I was watching you fall, get a kick out of me in your car. She talking about your outfit. Sing it, sing it to her. Get a rise out of watch you fall. Get a kick out of missing your car, and I don't. So heels are fashion nova. Pants are Fashion Nova. Top is Cotton On. Puffer jacket is Zara. Purse is Steve Madden. Hair is Amazon. Link in my bio. Or link in the description box. Um, jewelry is still Tory Burch. Kendra Sky. Fossil Watch. And that's me. You wanna go OOTD? Yeah. Um, okay. Shoes are from Converse. My pants are from Target. My shirt is from Cotton On, and my watch is from Alpha. Oh wow! Who's next? Alpha? No, no. Are oh, he practicing? Do it. <laughs> okay, got speak glass so we can hear Lacoste too. Because shoes. Lacoste Calvin, shoes. Calvin Klein's sweater. Okay, the jeans. Uh, jeans. Let me see. I believe the jeans. I'm sure something. <laughs> he said somewhere. <laughs> Calvin Klein probably too. I don't know. <laughs> Some expensive jeans, that's what I'm Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Some expensive okay. jeans. <laughs> All right, Antoinette. Pants of Banana Republic. Shoes of Vince Camito. Vince Camito, okay. <laughs> Shirt, Banana Republic. Watch, Fossil. Jewelry. He went to Jared. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> And Kendra. Okay. That's how I do it. Purse. Of course. Tori's my girl. Okay. I bought it for her too. For her. Yeah, we bought it for her okay, too. Ashley. You okay, Ashley. You bought stuff. I don't do it. What's that for? Ashley's closet. Ashley's closet. Ashley's closet. She's no fun. Uh, we all have to. Always, there's always tomato. that one person in the Go group, tomato. that one person who just don't comply with the group. Record when she sat down. She knew the rocket chair she almost fell. There's always that one person, y'all.
happy friday guys i know i literally skipped like two days in this oh this is so embarrassing y'all i'm gonna take my nails off <laughs> but i wanted to keep this thumb on for tiktok i was gonna record holding some things so i kept this on and this on in case you see it but took all my other nails off anyways happy friday i know i haven't seen you guys since tuesday wednesday and thursday nothing really happened besides me working and going to the gym even today nothing's really happening but i wanted to show you guys me actually gonna quit my job i know monday i showed you guys me telling him but i was typing up or finished send over my resignation letter an email and i was like eh, let me show you guys because <laughs> i don't know why i get like this like i don't know why when it comes to doing something beneficial for me i'm hesitant about it. I'm like i don't know why i'm hesitant that's my phone Hold on. but yeah i don't know why i get hesitant when it comes to doing things beneficial for me but i'm typing up this email so far it just says hi so and so attached is my letter of resignation thank you for being supportive of my decision and i hope the door for blank is not closed and that's all i have so far <sighs> even though i of course don't see myself <laughs> returning you just never know like I just don't see myself returning back to the whole nine to five life but sometimes things happen in life I pray not but just in case keep your doors open always so that's what I'm doing right now and yeah like I don't know why I'm hesitant like girl but just pop this email up press send and let's and let's cheers to the future okay <laughs> like let's cheers because I'm so hopeful and positive of all that is to come I don't know why I'm like, baby, just send this email and let's get it popping. Send this email. Put the two weeks in. Let's let's go. <laughs> money is to be made, and baby, you finna make some money, okay? Let's go. So let me finish typing this up so I can send it before my 10 o'clock meeting, and I'll come back and show you guys or tell you guys the rest. All right, y'all. <laughs> Are y'all ready to press send? Let's press send. Okay, hold on. Let me get this situated, okay? So I said basically like, you know, thank you, I'm so appreciative, whatever, whatever. <sighs> I got to see it through, my boy, I got to see it through. Let's go press send. It's sending to so-and-so, subject, come on, letter attached. I sent it, y'all, I sent it, I sent it, I sent it, I sent it. I know I'm gonna get a call from him very soon. I know I'm gonna get a call from him very soon. We already have a, we have one at 10 with me, him, and somebody else, if, unless he gets canceled. <laughs> but, got to see it through, my boy, got to see it through. I've been telling myself this now for months. I, I know what I'm capable of. You know me, you know I have a very entrepreneurial spirit. Like, I'm gonna get this money. And I feel like instead of me investing 40 hours a week into them i could be investing 40 hours a week into myself into real estate into my personal growth and like okay yeah the money cool but it ain't that cool here like it ain't that cool here i can make that money myself if i really hustle like so had to be done it's done i don't think i get a call from him very soon but it's done y'all disappearance like it's done <laughs> it's done sob it through my boy it's done. <laughs> All right. Well, that's done, y'all. Um, but yeah, so today on my agenda for work, at least, I have a 10 o'clock meeting. I'm supposed to have an 11 or I'm supposed to have a 1030 meeting, too. But the girl who originated it isn't here. But I'm not sure if me and the other girls still are going to meet. It's just social media brainstorm just for us to discuss and brainstorm social media ideas um then i have another one at 11 with my like onboarding buddy that i had got what oh my god over a year ago when i first came on as an intern she was like my little onboarding buddy because she was an intern too um so i got to tell her today that i put my two weeks in that's gonna be a heartbreak um and then i have another one at 12 30 so that's four meetings for the day uh, possibly another one that now that I send my resignation email in he's probably gonna touch the base with me and say hey I got it whatever whatever so that's four for sure meetings today I'm free well, I'm not free I gotta do two weeks of work and I know baby they, they either it's gonna be two weeks of simple work or they're gonna put me through the ringer 
because I I do all the content for our social media. I do the creation of the captions. I do the creation of the TikTok reels, the our B two B graphics. Like I do all the creation, and so I know I've been trying for the past like month to try to like get things in ahead of time. So whenever I do leave, it's not like I just left them in the dark. Like I've been kind of putting content ahead of time. So yeah. So we shall see how these next two weeks goes. So let me get back to work, guys. Um, and I'll catch you guys later. Y'all, the moment... <laughs> this is super embarrassing. <laughs> but the moment I literally turned the camera off, why did I get teary-eyed? <laughs> Not even because of the job, like, no. But I think because I know what I'm capable of and I know what the future holds. And, like, it's... Like, it's really go time. Like, it's really go time now. So, <sighs> like, let's get to this money, I guess. <laughs> Not even, I guess, like, let's get to this money. But I used to literally sit at my desk and cry. <laughs> because of how this job made me feel. It made me feel anxious. It made me feel, like, just sad. And it just brought me to tears. <laughs> and I think having parents that are supportive of this decision who you know push me to go ahead and quit because uh, focus your time on real estate focus your time on you like you can you don't need this job and I think that is a comforting feeling that a lot of people don't have that you know their parents would be like no you can't quit your job like you know figure it out it's a job everybody hates their job whatever whatever but like they're supportive and that <sighs> means a lot so yeah, I don't know why I was crying, y'all. <laughs> like literally turned the camera off and just started crying. Like, <laughs> not for real, y'all. We need a brother. Anybody uh, taking brother applications? Because that got me and Ashley, y'all, finna go up in this attic to put Christmas decorations up. What if, what if Miss Samantha's up here? <laughs> Miss Samantha. Knock, knock, y'all. Look how creepy this is. Look how creepy this is. Can y'all, can y'all see? Yeah. You got old bed frames. That look like, <laughs> like. Like somebody just living up here. Like. This is ground for somebody to build a home. No, for real. Somebody could have made a nest up here for all we know years ago, y'all. Okay, and they got me and Ashley up in here climbing to put stuff up. I'm scared. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to see how to put this camera down, okay. Alright, but we'll see how it goes. If I don't report back, y'all, it's because Miss Samantha got me. Mm -mm. I got over there, Chad. Hi. Miss Samantha? Okay, okay, okay. What else to do? My friends are too funny, and I cannot wait for us to link again. So you guys can just see them. They are the funniest. But we were talking about the Dubai trip. You know the Dubai trip all the influencers are on right now, right? <laughs> so we are talking about that. And we were like, y'all better get y'all's cameras out and get to recording anything and everything, okay? So y'all know from the beginning of this vlog. Did Lisa come home just to leave again? What the heck? <laughs> Anyways, uh, from the beginning of this vlog, I've been saying to clean this room, right? <laughs> And I clean it every night, but somehow every single day it gets dirty again. So like, so I'm gonna set my tripod up, get to cleaning my bathroom counter, my room, and all that, and post that on TikTok. So I'm gonna start with my bathroom first, just because, like, I'm actually, I'm being so embarrassed. Like, I'm really not a messy person. And the fact that my room's been a mess for the past week says a lot about my mental state, because I am a clean freak. My room literally is always clean, and I look a hot mess, y'all. My room is always clean, and messiness just gives me a headache. So I'll clean this bathroom up first, and take you guys with me.
y'all we finally freaking did it we finally got this room clean after a week and it's still not even clean to my liking but it's clean enough to let me go to bed tonight but now we literally have to take all that content and knock it down to 15 seconds it was originally at 30 minutes of content but i got it down to 19 minutes so far and i'm only in the bathroom segment so i still have to do the dresser segment and the bed segment so down to 15 seconds y'all like that's so freaking crazy but the bathroom second the oh, the bathroom segment itself is already like eight so it may be like a 25 second tiktok then because 15 seconds is not my camera died in the last clip y'all but it's currently 12.46, I finished around to editing the vlog, um, but I'm showered, skincare done, so my face is literally greased up like a glazed donut. I'm in the vlog right here, and I thank you guys so much for just following along with me in this week in my life, like... It's been so long since I've done a vlog, aside from the New Year's vlog that needs to be posted. But it's just been so long since I've been vlogging, y'all. And I just felt like because I wasn't doing much working from home. But now that I've quit my job and will be transitioning into something just new and different, I'll have a lot more time on my hands and a lot more to show you guys. And I hope you guys just follow along with me on this journey as I figure out these 20-somethings and just figure out what I want to do in life and make it happen. So thank you guys so much for following along. I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time.